Hello guys and girls, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This is going to be a Divine Masculine reading for the next seven days, September 7th to the 14th. I just want to see, you know, where the Divine Masculines are at, what they're going to be working with, and their energy, alright? So, let's do two more shuffles for the Divine Masculines. Oh, if I sound kind of quiet, I apologize. I don't have my mic right now, so I'm speaking louder, okay? And of course, this may or may not resonate with everybody. So September 7th to the 14th, Divine Masculines. So he's looking at things from a different perspective. He could even be spying on you, Divine Masculine. I mean, Divine Feminines. Uh, and it's because, you know, Ace of Pentacles. He wants to offer you something, okay? King of Pentacles. He may have um, the Emperor, you know... He was going from the King of Pentacles where he focused more on money to the Emperor where he's, um, you know, he's more balanced. He's the King of all Kings. He could also be a father, a leader. That's also what the Emperor is. And then the Six of Wands here. So it's like the Divine Masculine. When it comes to you, Divine Feminine, he does have good memories. He, he thinks about the past in a positive way. That's what right now he's planning and he's strategizing. Um, and it has a lot to do with his um, obligations, his responsibilities that he's still trying to take care of. And I was going to say he's scared. <laughs> and yeah, the, six, the nine of uh, wands came out. He's scared, Divine Feminine. Be careful. I mean, you may be a little bit emotionally detached. Um, you're, you're, you're being blunt. You're being straight up. You're being real with him. Um, about, you know, wanting something new with this world card here, wanting a whole new cycle um, and completing the old cycle, right, Divine Feminine? So the Divine Masculine is now afraid. Um, for him to become, uh, he was a king of pentacles here in his insecurities. So I would like to say on the seventh here, he's still dealing with his insecurities, okay? And then on the eighth here, that's when the tower hits him. That's when he starts to become this emperor on September 8th. He starts to become more balanced, you know? You see, Divine Feminine, when it comes to you with this Six of Cups here and this Queen of Pentacles, he thinks of you in a positive light because you are very nurturing, you are very stable, you are very down to earth. So when he, when memories of love, they're good memories. They're not bad memories of you, Divine Feminine. He doesn't see you in a negative way. That's why he's planning and he's strategizing with this three of wands here on how to enter your life. The nine of cups. How to, because you're what he's wishing for, Divine Feminine. The reason, the only thing holding him back is that he needs, there's a need for structure here. Um, two of pentacles, seven of cups. Yeah, there's a need for structure and his obligations. And his responsibilities. Yeah, Divine Feminine. By you being straight up. By you being real. That puts him at this crossroads. Where he's having to evaluate his life. But you see. It's the completion of a cycle. And the start of a new one. Ace of Wands. So. September 7th. 8th. 9th. 10th. 11th. 12th. 13th. Yeah, all there needs to be is patience on his offering, okay? Um, right now, he is looking at things from a different perspective. Uh, that is the overall energy of the Divine Masculine here. Uh, so for these next seven days, um, you know, it's because the way I do it is a card per day. And I'm normally never wrong with my time predictions. So um, he's not... He's not talking to you yet. Okay, there's still a need for patience here, Divine Feminine. Um, you being in your power, you being straight up, that's what's manifesting. You see over here, uh, the Knight of... He's scared to prove himself to you, Divine Feminine. King of Cups on top of the Tower card here. You know, he's awakening to a serious commitment. Uh, you're the journey he's wanting to take. Two of Wands on top of this Queen of Pentacles here. 
he is going in your direction. You see, he's planning and he's strategizing on how to come in for everything that he's wishing for. Page of Swords. He could be spying on you. Um, and yeah, you see, the reason why he's um, there's a need for structure here is it has a lot to do with your independence, Divine Feminine. Um, two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like he's... He's looking at you. You're doing your own thing, Divine Feminine. That's why he's wanting to smooth things out with you. He's evaluating his life. He's evaluating the situation. Um, he's wanting to celebrate because he's wanting to come in with you. He could be wanting this new beginning with you, wanting to offer you something, but he's overthinking it. And him having to change his ways, him having to prove it to you, I hate to say it, that's karma. Okay, Divine Masculines? And yeah... This is a whole this is a whole new thing for you. Um, you know, things are changing for the better. King of Wands, you know, you're being goal oriented. Finally, you're going after the things that you want. You see with the 3 of Wands, the 9 of Cups and the Page of Swords, justice, okay? So you're watching her, you're planning, you're strategizing uh on how to balance the situation out with the divine feminine. Right, Divine Masculine? Eight of Cups. But you have to walk away from your sense of independence. You have to walk away from this, you know, fuck bitches, get money mentality that you have. You have to walk away from that. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Now you're wanting to slowly progress in love. The Strength card. You're overcoming that hive mind mentality where you're listening to other people. A death to the overthinking. Bye-bye, old you, Divine Masculine. Patience, you're going to be offering something to the Divine Feminine. That's a pivot point, the Page of Pentacles. Um, that's a change. It's a, it's a great idea. It is divinely guided, okay? You're just overthinking your transformation, all right, Divine Masculine? Um, now, let's get... um. Okay. You see, you've learned your lessons, Divine Masculine. Um, you're not happy that you have to prove it to her. But I mean, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups. The Divine Feminine loves you unconditionally, Divine Masculine, honestly. Um, the Fool card. You walking away from this baggage, you walking away from your sense of independence, and you're being optimistic for something new. That's great, Divine Masculine, here. You see, justice, yeah, equal give and take, okay? He's patiently planning, strategizing how to go after what he wants. He's spying on you, balancing the situation out, equal give and take, right, Divine Masculine? There's just a lot of regrets here from you holding back. So it looks like now that is over, right? Ace of Swords, you finally realize now, Divine Masculine, you know, it's kind of like hindsight. That's what I feel like. It's like this energy of, you know, what you didn't, you know, if you knew then what you knew now, you would have done it different. That's that's the energy I'm getting. Uh, hindsight energy, Divine Masculine. So that's just for the next seven days. Um, now let's look at the um, other cards to get some more information, all right? So, so what are the Divine Masculines dealing with from September 7th to the 14th? Yeah, cutting the cords of um of any old attachments, um, you know, from past relationships, all right? You know, you're being divinely guided by spiritual teachers, Divine Masculine. Uh, your manifestation powers, you need to use your gifts. That's what that musician card was, okay? You're manifesting change in your life because you're wanting, you know, you're probably running in cycles all your life, Divine Masculine. And now that's ending, right? Um, you're protecting yourself from, you should be protecting yourself from, from fear-based energies, okay? Throat chakra, the angels are helping you speak your truth, divine masculine. And any ideas you get, they are divinely guided, okay, divine masculine? So from September 7th to the 14th, yeah, watch your thoughts. Try to use positive thoughts because, um... Yeah, they're manifesting pretty quickly. Law of attraction, all right, Divine Masculine? So, 
Uh, let's look here with this deck. What else you'll be going through, Divine Masculine, from September 7th to the 14th. Just make sure you choose only positive thoughts to describe your situation, okay, Divine Masculine? That's how you manifest, all right? It says, believe in yourself and apologize, Divine Masculine. So, what else could the Divine Masculine be dealing with from September 7th to the 14th? The ones that watch this video, let's see. Share your wisdom, Divine Masculine, okay? And show appreciation for your journey. It could have been much worse, Divine Masculine. So what else will you be dealing with from September 7th to the 14th? I want to make it fly out of the deck, please. Don't do this flipping stuff. Yeah, there you go. Send love, Divine Masculine. You are special. Explore the unknown. And love yourself, Divine Masculine, okay? So uh, let's see what else you'll be dealing with, Divine Masculine, with this deck. And then we'll see what you would say if, you know, you had the, the huevos. <laughs> let's see, Divine Masculine. And it's saying here for you too. I mean, come on. Throw chakra. Apologize. You know, love yourself, send love. I mean, it's telling you, Divine Masculine, whatever ideas you have, they're divinely guided, Divine Masculine. So let's see, September 7th to the 14th, what will the Divine Masculine be going through? Look deeper. Emotions. You need to balance your emotions. Look, the God love card came out. Honestly, masculine, you were separated from God for quite a while. Okay? I mean, not that you were separated from him, but you lost yourself for a little bit. And now you're finding your way back to the light. Okay? Practice makes perfect. Um, you know, practicing your how to how to work on your emotions. Yeah, it's a learning experience, how to balance your emotions, how um, that, you know, practice makes perfect, Divine Masculine. So for these next seven days, um, you might want to pause and believe in yourself, okay? So what other messages for the Divine Masculine? And then I'm going to move on to what he would say if he could. And I believe that's it, Divine Masculine. Mm, for the next seven days, September 7th to the 14th. Is that all? Pray. I got that card over here too, Divine Masculine. I mean, you need to pray. Like, it says it over here too. Um, you see, it, it flipped over. I just wanted it to fly out of the deck. That came out twice, Divine Masculine. So, um, you guys should really pray, honestly. Uh, let's take a look here. What you would say if you could, Divine Masculine. Look at that. I hate who I really am from you. I lost myself for a little while. Divine Masculine, from September 7th to the 14th. You want... This okay, you want the divine feminine that's sexual energy as well. Um, it's also saying here, I know that I crossed the line with you, divine masculine, for the next seven days. The timing just was not right for us, it was my fault, but I blamed you. I wish I could share my good news with you. That has a lot to do with them waking up. I hide behind material things. The, this is the realizations that they've had. This is realizations that they will be having from September 7th to the 14th. So, and they know that you're above them, okay? They feel you leaving them behind energetically. So it's like they feel like they have to catch up. They look for you everywhere. And they know that they messed everything up, Divine Feminine. So is there any more messages for the Divine Masculine from September 7th? To the 14th that 
he would say if he could to the Divine Feminine? Yeah, he was scared of love, Divine Feminine. That's why he couldn't let you get too close to him. Um, and he wished he treated you better. He left when he saw you with someone. So some of you guys could have moved on. And he hopes that you could forgive him one day. And he does stay awake thinking about you, Divine Feminine. He knows he messed everything up. This is something he's healing from. Okay, Divine Feminines. Um, so try not to be, try to be more forgiving towards the Divine Masculine when he does come in. Because, you know, he he does, um, he's been working on himself. Uh, he's been healing. Yeah, spiritual strength. This is something he was developing. You know, before he had a weak character. So, you know, he had this um, relentless pursuit of money. And that, you know, that emotional loss that he felt um, through you spiritual union here you know that made him develop this spiritual strength because you know you guys were were connected and that loss you know that gave him this rude awakening he might not have ever expected you to start to lay down any boundaries you know start to love yourself you see the disruption you see that caused a tower moment for him you know you switching up the way you were divine feminine, like, you know, maybe he tried to come in on some BS or just, you know, it just, it was tower after tower after tower. And, you know, that's how he knew he messed everything up. You know, it's just all his long held ideas and beliefs, his faith was being tested. And that just was like a rude awakening for him. So any more messages for the divine masculine for the next seven days, September 7th to the 14th? What will they be dealing with? What are they going through? What are they feeling? What are they thinking? The waiting game, guys. If I could get one more card, fly out of the deck, please. The Divine Masculine. Yeah, obstacles and challenges. And fulfillment of wishes. Like I said, there's some loose ends. He feels like he has to tie up. Uh, before he comes in. But this is something he's overcoming. Okay guys. Um, accelerated motion. And partnerships and alliances. You guys are going to be reconciling pretty soon. Uh, you guys are going to be a team. You know the three is normally you them and God. You know so. You guys are going to finally come together. And work as a team. Okay guys. So this has a lot to do with him. Um, speaking his truth. The divine masculine. From September 7th to the 14th. What can we expect from him? Look at that, guys. We have here throat chakra. And new beginnings. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and close it out there. If this helped you guys out in any way, you guys are more than welcome to subscribe. All right, guys. Talk to you guys later. Much love. Bye.